We're getting ready to head out on a 16-night Sun Princess transatlantic cruise, and it's getting close. Hello, cruisers, and welcome back to another Cruise Report Cruise Update, September 2024. Now, we just received in the mail this week our medallions for Sun Princess. So it's getting real now. Check this out. So these medallions, if you're not familiar with Princess Cruises, rather than a key card, like most cruise lines, you get the little card that lets you in your stateroom. You also use it to charge things around the ship. And the medallion experience is quite a bit different because this little medallion, you can hang it around your neck, you can wear it on a watch band, you can clip it on your shirt or your, wherever you want. doesn't really matter where it goes. But it is basically the same as a key card. When you get within a certain distance, for example, of your stateroom, the stateroom has a little pad outside the door that will recognize you and will unlock your door for you. It's, it's a very cool technology and it works all around the ship. So when you are on the ship, when you go up, say, for example, International Cafe, if you want to get a cup of coffee or a snack, you don't have to scan anything. You don't have to have a card swiped. They know when you're standing at the register who you are because this medallion is always putting out a signal and they can tell who the customer is. It, it's actually... A, it's one of the most innovative things that Princess has done. It's the only cruise, it's not the only cruise line that has something like this. Virgin has something kind of like this. But I think Princess has really taken it to the next level and they've really, uh, I think they're perfecting it. When, when we first sailed with Princess, they had the medallions and it wasn't quite perfected yet. It was still pretty cool, but there were a few little things that needed to be tweaked and I think they've addressed those now. We will be reporting on that from the ship. So make sure, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button down below. Make sure you click the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when we come out with these new videos. Now, we will be posting from the ship to Instagram every day, Instagram and Facebook. So if you're not following us yet on Instagram and Facebook, please do that. It's at Cruise Report. Very simple. And let us know in the comments of this video or on Instagram what you want us to check out. We're going to be on the ship for 16 nights. I think we are going to be in every specialty dining venue. We're we're not in the chef's table because I don't think you can book that till you get on the ship. We'd love to do the chef's table if it's available. Uh, I would assume since there's so many days at sea, they probably do have the chef's table maybe multiple times. So we'd love to be able to do it if it's available. And I will let you know more about this medallion, how they've improved it, how it works. Uh, we also have the Princess Premier Package which is a $90 per day option. I'm going to talk a lot about that, and we're going to be keeping very close track of what we spend or how many drinks we have, how, you know, the little ice cream desserts and all that. And at the end of the cruise, we're going to look back and say, is it really worth $90 per day for this package? Also get the complimentary high-speed Wi-Fi with that, and I believe we get gratuities included for that. So on the surface right now, just as we speak, seems like a, a decent value. It does seem, now in our case, 16-night cruise, $90 a day, that's almost, well, I'm going, I'm going to round up to $100 a day. That's almost another $1,600 per person. But when you factor in the price of gratuities, uh, beverages, Cokes, uh, wine, alcoholic drinks, uh, cocktails, 
you factor in the ice cream desserts and you factor in some of the other there's a lot of other benefits the wi-fi it really might be a very good value so i'm i'm really anxious to see how this works we also we just upgraded to the new princess premiere which it was originally eighty dollars per day now it's ninety dollars per day we went ahead and paid the difference to get the upgrade because when they offered that upgrade, they also offered unlimited specialty dining. So what it basically means is for $90 a day, you can turn a Princess Cruise into an all-inclusive experience. It's all-inclusive now. You don't have to pay for drinks. You don't have to pay for gratuities. You don't have to pay extra for specialty dining. See, I mean, there are some specialty dining venues that you still have to pay for, like Spellbound or like Love by Brito, but that's about it. The other specialty dining, like Sabatini's and the Butcher's Block and Crown Grill and the Teppanyaki, those are all included in that specialty dining package. So that changes it. And also the casual dining venues like Alfredo's Pizza, O'Malley's, I think that's all included too. Now, one thing we did notice, and that is once we paid for the upgrade, I think a lot of people paid for the upgrade to that Princess Premiere, uh, we've been unable to pre-book any other specialty dining. Fortunately, we had everything pretty much pre-booked. Uh, a couple of them I'd already paid for. I'm hoping I can get refunded for that since we paid for this upgrade. A lot of you have commented down below and sent me an email and saying you will get a refund for that. I believe it's $180 we paid for two different restaurants. So uh, if that's the case, then that covered, I don't know, half the price or half the cost of the upgrade. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. I'm hoping that we get that refunded to us. And then... The other thing that we're looking forward to, we are doing the Princess Transfer. We're flying into London a couple of days early. We're flying from DFW to London on British Airways. This will be our first time ever to fly on the A380. We're very excited about that. We'll probably do a little vlog on that as well. So keep your eyes out. If you've never flown on an Airbus A380, and we haven't, I believe we're in their premium economy. I don't know what they call it. Uh, we tried to get in business class, but everything we read about business class didn't sound very good on British Air on the A380. It sounds like it just wasn't a very great experience, most of the people were saying, but they had good things to say about the premium economy. So we'll see. I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, we're very excited. We're on the upper deck of the plane. Should be pretty nice. Uh, we're flying into London two days early. We're staying at a hotel. Can't remember the name of it, uh, but it's pretty close to Victoria Station, which is where we'll be picking up the coach to go on Princess down to Southampton. So it should be a good location. Hopefully, I think there's a lot of stuff near Victoria Station, restaurants, things like that. So that should be pretty good. We'll see. Um, let me know in the comments what you want to know about on this ship. We're very, very curious. We're very excited about it. It's always nice to be back on Princess because we have always had good experiences with Princess. Great cruise line. I know that there are some other YouTubers that are going to be on board. I don't know if we'll have an opportunity to meet them. I've reached out to a couple of them, haven't heard back. So we'll see how that goes. And we are in a cabana mini suite right now on deck 12. We're looking forward to experiencing that. We did put in, or Ricky did put in for an upgrade. She bid on an upgrade to a penthouse suite, but we haven't heard anything. And it's, what, about a week away from the trip? About a week, about a week from tomorrow, I think. So it doesn't look hopeful, but I've heard some people say they didn't know until the day or two before. You never know. Somebody might cancel. Somebody might upgrade to a higher level from their Vista, and maybe we'll get their Vista suite. Who knows? Well, if not, then we will be in the cabana mini suite which is a popular category we'd love to talk to you about we'll make sure to give you all the deets on that 
So again, if you have any questions, you want to know anything more about Sun Princess that other people haven't covered, we're not going to do the typical uh, YouTuber go every deck, every people have done that, they've beat that to death. Now, one thing I'm a little bit disappointed in is that after we get off the ship in Fort Lauderdale, it is a transatlantic. After we get off the ship, about a week later, when it starts cruising again in the Caribbean, everything's changing. A lot of the restaurants are changing. They're going to have this new sanctuary class or sanctuary collection. There's no more signature collection, no more reserve collection. So what we're going to experience probably by the time we get our review done and all our videos out, it's going to be completely different by the time you go on Sun Princess. Not everything. Uh, I mean, the, the food and the quality of the food, the quality of the entertainment, that's all going to be the same, or should be. But some of the different uh, classes or experiences will be different. So you know what that means. That means maybe we'll just have to go back on Sun Princess in a few months and do a whole video on what changed from the time we were on until that time. And is it better, worse, the same? That sort of thing. So, got our medallions. We're very excited about that. That's just an indication that it's it's coming. It's coming soon. And this should give us the, I think it's called the Green Lane, where when we embark the ship, but then again, it could be like TSA pre-check. Everybody, when you go to the airport now, has TSA pre-check. So the line at TSA pre-check is usually longer than the line when you don't have TSA pre-check. Maybe that's the way the green lane's going to be. Maybe there are going to be more people in the green lane than the blue lane. But nevertheless, we have our medallions. We should be able to just embark very easily, very quickly. And we will be, like I say, we'll be putting up video reels, YouTube shorts, internet, you know, permitting, assuming I've heard they have very good Starlink internet on the ship. So I don't think we're going to be able to upload long form videos, but we might be able to upload some shorts and some reels and a lot of photos. And we will be updating throughout the day, every day on this ship, what we're doing and what's the experience like. So if you're if you're looking for more information on the Sun Princess, you definitely want to be plugged into Cruise Report on our Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. If you like this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you from Sun Princess. And until then, smooth sailing.